So Gilbert, you know, I mean, you've been in relationships. I've been in relationships. You know how they say, never go back to your ex. You broke up for a reason. And for the most part, I mean, I, I've never gone back and thought, oh, you know what? Maybe I made a wrong decision. No, it's always been good. It's always you separate, you're done. What What do you think? Uh, yes, I agree with you 100%. It's always a bad idea to go back to the ex. Like, maybe you need to be on a break, like Ross and Rachel, friends reference. And it's a, it's been a couple of weeks, and that's it. But when you start going away, separate ways for a month, two months, three what, months, what, what, you move on. Yes. What is, exactly. How long has it been for now, though, for this topic you're going to talk about? Because it's been 2014. Do the math here. Uh, eight eight years. years. So, yeah, no. Uh, stick, stay away. So there's been a lot of reports lately. And, and I, obviously we went through it on Combat Compass. I went through exactly what happened between CM Punk, AEW, everything that happened. Well, now there's talks and various media reports have been reporting that uh, there's been buyout talks between AEW and CM Punk. What does that mean? It's like the, the NFL. It's like in everything. He signed a multi-year deal. So what would it be? They would come together on a number. AEW would give him a check. Tony Khan would I don't know if he'd shake his hand, but he'd say, thank you for everything. Bye-bye. So that's led people to ask, well, what would happen with CM Punk after? Because CM Punk has dabbled in Hollywood some. He, he's not The Rock. He's not John Cena. He's not even Batista. He's nowhere near what those guys have been. I mean, all three of them have made incredible big-time movies. He hasn't been close to any of that. He's done a couple of small things. Hell, he's not even Edge. Edge is about to be in the new Percy Jackson uh, series. I don't know if you know Percy Jackson, but uh, okay. So it's a, uh, it's obviously the Greek gods come down to Earth. Um, they get together with normal human beings and they have kids, and they're called demigods. So that's a show where um, it's going to be a, it's a, it's a book series. Now it's going to be a show on Disney on Disney Channel, I think, or Disney Plus, and Edge is going to well, be in it. That's why I don't know. Yeah, so uh, so obviously, so CM Punk has it. So there's been re various reports that have said that Triple H might be warming up to the idea of maybe bringing back CM Punk. And there's other reports that say that he, there's no way that this could happen. No. I hope those, there's no other. There's no thing. There's no. Uh, there's no way this can happen for one reason and one reason only. Well, a couple of reasons. One of the main ones is. Did we forget what CM Punk... CM Punk's only been at AEW for a couple of months. Months. Off of a multi-year contract and he's already getting kicked out of it. Why? His head is bigger than this screen. Like, man, I, I, for you to already be out when you came out and you said things like this. And don't forget, CM Punk came back and he said, oh, this place is amazing. This place is great. Don't forget what he told MJF when MJF is like, I want to go to WWE. And listen, pal, if you think the grass is so green around the other side, be my guest. Go ahead. Leave. Main event night four of a buy one, get one free extravaganza. And then get released faster than you last in the sack. When you come back, I'll still be here. And that ass kicking will be waiting for you. Oh, nice so little jab there. That was his, that was his, uh, that's when him and MJF were going at it. He told MJF, Hey, like, um, he's like, you think it's better over there? Uh, you got into a fight with, I mean, and he, so when CM Punk got into it, it was with Vince McMahon, but then it was also with Triple H. Why? Triple H doesn't believe in the kind of, uh, wrestler that CM Punk is. Why? CM Punk has a big head, big ego. CM Punk wanted to in inject himself into the Rock versus John Cena main event at WrestleMania. Gilbert, did you want to see CM Punk in that? No, no, stay away. Everybody wanted Rock versus Cena. Why? They had already had a rivalry the year before that. They had already fought. The Rock had won. Now everybody wanted to see Cena get his. Why would you throw CM Punk in there? So what happened at the Royal Rumble? He gets thrown out by Kane and all the goons. Comes into the back, yells at Vince, yells at... Uh, at Triple H, and then leaves. And then th that was it. He stayed away for a couple of years, tried the UFC, goes back to AEW, lasts a couple of times. He's been injured twice, I think. And then another thing is, too, his record was pretty clean. I mean, he almost didn't lose any fights. And uh, excuse me, I thought CM Punk was there to help the younger guys elevate themselves. He wasn't. So 
why why even consider going back there's no need to do this it's uh it would be a mistake by wwe especially gilbert because why you're building your foundation now now that triple h is taking over you have your foundation at the bottom you have nxt you're building superstars ah who just debuted last week gilbert on nxt the rock's daughter yeah she just debuted you're starting to build this foundation where guys are starting to want to come over to you back to you why because they're noticing mm, something something i don't know about over there well people are wanting to come back to wwe why because vince is gone vince's ideas of if a, if he's seven foot tall if he's big he uses the choke slam he's gonna be a superstar no sir that's not it that's not how you build a superstar ray mysterio can be a superstar uh, CM Punk can be a super. There's different forms of superstar, and that's what Triple H brings. He brings an open mind. That's why you're seeing so many superstars come back. Last week, who did we get? Emma came back. Emma was a, a uh, she's a WWE superstar who uh, was was fired uh, during the pandemic, but she was pretty big before she left. And I'm sorry for going on a on a on a no, ramp. Do your thing. You're building something very good. You have the tribal chief. You have the bloodline storyline. You have the judgment day. You have all these storylines that are very good. You're building so much. You have Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes. You have all these stars that are starting to ascend. And you have some stars. You have superstars already. But then you have superstars down here that are ready to ascend and take that next level. Why would you want to mess that up and bring back CM Punk? Why would you want to bring, bring back Phil Brooks? Don't do it. I mean, I, I just wouldn't touch that. Uh, there's no way, and I saw um, I saw one former WWE employee say if he did this, he would control all of WWE, or he would control the whole wrestling scene again because he would have CM Punk. But at what cost? And what if CM Punk comes back and he's every third week, oh, I'm hurt, I got this? Or what if he starts complaining? Another thing is, do you really want your younger stars rubbing off, like the CM Punk method, rubbing off on them? And I'm not trying to condemn CM Punk. I just... He was the voice of the voices. He was awesome when he was first with WWE, but I just don't think a second run is going to help. I don't, I don't think it'd be good. And I really do think that he kind of has a weird attitude and I just wouldn't want my young wrestlers exposed to that, especially because he's not a John Cena. He's not a rock. He's not a stone cold where he, Hey, young fella, come over here. Let me pull you off to the side. Let me, let me, let me explain to you something. Or like Kevin Owens, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, these guys that are going to pull guys to the side and be like, Hey, young fella, let me help you with this, that, and that. That's not who CM Punk is. So I just, I wouldn't trust it. Yeah. A, a big red flag is like a point you just said, maybe Triple H is trying to do this to get rid of all the stars from AEW and bring them to his company. That way, this number two promotion is on the rise. You don't have to worry about them. But then it's a big red flag when Tony Khan's like, you want that guy? I don't care. Go take him. I, he, he's here for, what, less than a year. He's about to buy him out. Yeah, I'm going to fight with you, Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Uh, yeah. He's a cancer to... Yeah, so you got that? Uh, he's a cancer to the promotion. We're, we're doing big things with MJF here. We're going to focus on MJF. Uh, so that's really a weird thing for me. And then the other part of it is like, say, you know, Triple H pulls it off. He brings in CM Punk. How's that going to sit with Vince McMahon? I know that Vince McMahon, he's taking the backseat. He's not in charge. Yeah, whatever. He's, he's pulling the string somehow, some way, because that, you know, he's married to his daughter. They'll figure it out. Does Vince say, you know what? Yeah, let bygones be bygones. We don't care, man. Come back now. He might even say, you know what? Let me get up, do that walk down the, the ramp. There you go. And no chance in hell. That exactly. You got. And then he's out of here. I don't know. But it's very fishy here. And I just don't yeah. understand what you get out of it besides taking a star from the, the rising promotion company. But really pay attention to why Tony Khan might be okay with that. This isn't a CM. This isn't a Cody Rhodes move. Where Cody Rhodes is leaving the company, he's why he's what wanting to come top. back to WWE. Exactly. That's not this. What this is? This is a this is a dude. Like you stunk it up here. Your attitude, the fight that happened in the locker room, all this stuff. Like, and I've read more and more into it, and there's some shady stuff. I don't think the CM Punk's not 100 percent to blame, but still, you you were in it. It was up. To, uh, you were uh, one of the parties that was involved. And somebody's gonna have to pay, and unfortunately, it's you. But I just, I wouldn't. Uh, and even if that meant that if you brought back CM Punk, that AJ Lee could possibly come back. His wife, who was a big time uh, female wrestler as well, she was awesome. But 
I no, you have great female wrestlers there too. You have some up and coming ones. You have people returning um in the next couple of months as well. So no, you don't need any of that. I just I just honestly um I just honestly think that they shouldn't even they shouldn't even entertain the idea of it. I think Triple H needs to stick to his guns and be like, you know what? We were kind of right on this. I mean, when CM Punk left, not to beg him, not to anything, we were kind of right. CM Punk is a pain in the ass. Uh, his head is bigger than uh, than the hats that he wears, and and uh, and we don't need to we don't need to bring him back. So obviously, I just I wouldn't even revisit it. I wouldn't even talk about it. Triple H is going to do what's best for his for the company, obviously, but I just don't see how this is the best uh, part for the company. Now, mind you. Yes, would I love to see CM Punk and Roman Reigns go at it on the mic? Hell yeah. Would I love to see him and uh and other people go at it on the mic? Yes, I would. But I just and I think there's beef between him and Cody Rhodes and like off the screen. I think he has beef with a lot of different people within WWE. I know that uh, to some wrestlers it didn't sit well that CM Punk uh left the way he did. So just don't do it, dude. Save yourself the headache. Just move on and keep on doing what you're doing. You're doing some great things. And WrestleMania's the wrestle the road to WrestleMania is right around the corner. Why bring him back for any of this? So focus on your road to WrestleMania. Focus on some of the superstars that you're going to bring back in the next couple of weeks. Don't focus on uh, somebody who hasn't been there for eight years. No chance in hell you got CM. Sorry, I want to do that again. Oh, so you, you so you, obviously you're you're on that too. Why bring him back? Yeah, no, I I, I think uh, like some of the scenarios you just brought up, some of the potential matchups and rivalries, like they are intriguing. But I think at some point when you're Triple H, you're thinking, especially Triple H, he thinks about the future a lot. He's the one that started NXT, right? Yes, I think at did. the end of the day, he's going to sit down and be like, you know what? Is this worth it for the future? NXT has been kind of on the decline, and now I'm back to bring it up again. Is this really the right move? And I think that would be the deciding factor. He's going to be like, nope, Phil Brooks. Stay over there or go fight at MMA again. Do what you got to yeah. do, but not here. <laughs> no, and Triple H is like, even Triple H, when, when guys need a boost, he sends them down to NXT, like a couple of wrestlers, or, like Mandy Rose, who's right now the uh, the NXT women's champion. She needed a boost. She was in WWE. She was okay. She was all right on the mic. Her wrestling was a little raw. And they sent her to NXT, and now she's the women's champion. I think she's a she has two belts down there. She's kicking ass, and they're about to bring her up. Her and her faction are about to come up pretty soon and uh and she's kicking ass so sometimes you kind of need that refresher to go down there and then come back up um in a couple i mean i expect the rock's daughter in about a year maybe a little bit maybe in about a year or, or on the road to wrestlemania 40 i expect the rock's daughter to be on the main roster uh maybe competing for women's championships but i definitely um i definitely think she's moving up the ladder pretty quick it was only a year ago or a year and a half ago that they said, oh, WWE is about to sign her. Maybe it was a year ago. And now all of a sudden, she's already on NXT. She's already moving on, uh, up the ladder. So she must have something. I haven't really watched uh, much of NXT with her on there. I'm, I'm going to start paying attention more. But there must be something about her that uh, that is moving her up. And no, it's not the last name. It's none of that. So, And by the way, WWE was smart with her. They easily could have thrown her in with Roman Reigns and the... And the um, they could have pulled a Dominic Mysterio, not had him go to NXT, had her come up and be with Roman Reigns in the bloodline. But no, what do you do? You send her to NXT, have her be your own person. And then maybe down the road, you visit something with the bloodline or, or something like that. But for right now, you don't need that. You just, uh, you just, um, what's it called? You just focus on her coming up. What can she do in the ring? Can she uh, handle it on the mic? And then you bring her up in about a year. Roman will still be there. I mean, he'll be there a little bit less, but he'll still be there. The faction will still be there, and it'll be uh, it'll be pretty interesting. But yeah, no, CM Punk. I'm sorry, but if we were on uh, American Idol or one of those uh, crap shows, I'd X you. No, thank you. Yeah, don't ruin the pipeline with the pipe bomb. You like that. Exactly. Kind of exactly. Exactly. There you go. I like that. I like that. Besides, I know the WWE saving that uh, pipe bomb mic. They're shining it for. MJF in the free agency of 2024. Oh, cannot wait for the so race. January 2024. So on the road to WrestleMania 40, possibly MJF would might be a WWE superstar. That'd be interesting. I'm very excited for that. And, but and we'll break it down here on Combat Compass. Make sure to subscribe. Maybe with MJF on here. Mm, can't wait. That'd be, that'd be interesting.